Hello, and welcome to this video on interactive storytelling and how to use the technology that's behind interactive storytelling. One of the things I want you to notice here is that what you see here is on a web page. As a matter of fact, it's on, uh, it's on Google Chrome. And the version of Google Chrome that I'm using is 15.0.874.121M. Excuse me, I'm, I'm having my, uh, my coffee now. Hmm. I was good. It's so early in the morning when I'm doing this. But there's a lot of advantages of doing an interactive story through a browser. Um, first of all, the, uh, you don't need any plugins because it's all HTML5. It's platform independent which means that it'll work on any internet appliance that supports uh, uh, an HTML5 compliant browser. You don't need any expensive editors to do this. As a matter of fact, I used uh, a simple text editor to create all of this. Uh, effectively, I used, uh, I used Notepad. And um, HTML5, of course, is media rich, as you'll see. Not only do we have the pictures here, but, and, the, and the words, with the links to the words and what have you, but we also have the audio files, and you'll hear those, hopefully. Um, it's uh, easy to code because it uses a standard uh, scripting language, such as JavaScript. It's a single-page application. What that means is that you'll notice as I click on this and go through it, the URL never changes. The URL will stay the same, which means it's not making trips back to the server because on the busy internet, that would take time. So everything you need uh, using this HTML5 is preloaded into the page for you. Um, and there's uh, no theoretical size limit for the story. As a matter of fact, where this story is stored it, on, on my server is uh, 10 terabytes. And on 10 terabytes, you can put one hell of, <laughs> one hell of a story there. So. Let me take you through this so you get an idea of what it looks like. Ah, oh, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to refresh this. Greetings, friend, and welcome to this special place. Of course, that's me talking, but that's what you would hear if you went to use it. So I'm going to come over here to greetings to you, too. And what is this place? This place, friend, is the land of all things possible. And if you notice it coming up here that the URL for that did not change. And it happened, it happened pretty quickly. As you can see, I'm doing this pretty early in the morning, too. <laughs> okay, now, uh, I still have some questions. Let's go to that. And how may I help you? Hmm, this guy's really got quite an accent. Uh, where do I get some lodging? Let me try that. There is a small inn down the road. Regals is the name of the innkeeper. Uh, thanks for the info. I will go there now. Then have a safe journey there. It is just down the road. Cute voice. Okay, do it. I'm off. Story to be continued. That's supposed to be a picture of the storyteller, i.e. me. These are inline links. Uh, these images are not stored, don't have to be stored on your server which means that you don't have copyright violations. All you have is a link to where they are stored. It's called inline linking. Okay, that's it for this video. On our next series of videos, uh, I'll start showing how you can code this and actually uh, make, begin to make your own uh, inline stories uh, using uh, HTML5. Okay, thank you for watching.